Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome for the very first time. I'm Kate Danielle and this is Coffee and Canva where I always have a fun coffee mug and we talk about Canva. Now, one thing I hear most often is people want to learn how to get their graphics for their business designed faster and my answer to that is to always, always be using templates. Now, if you know me, you may be thinking, yeah, Kate, sure, you would say that. You sell templates. Well, when I say that you need to be using templates, I don't necessarily mean that you have to go buy some. That is a great option if you um, just want to sort of get that boost in um, the DIY design area, but when I say templates, it can be ones that you make yourself from scratch. You could use Canvas free templates, however you want to go about it. But you need to be using branded templates because one, it builds brand recognition, but two, it saves you so much time when designing. So in today's video, I'm going to show you just how you would set up your templates in Canva. Now, of course, before we do, please, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. One, it not only just really makes my day every time I see a notification, but two, I love to, to help you. And I'm guessing you're here because you're interested in learning more about Canva. So be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with the upcoming videos. Now let's get to it. <music> So before we even jump over to Canva, first things first is you need to determine what sizes of graphics you were using and creating and sharing most often. So for me, it might be like Pinterest and YouTube covers and Facebook posts and Instagram. And your list may be similar, it may be different, you may have fewer things on your list, whatever. But the different sizes that you are creating most often. Then just pick one to start. For me, I usually pick the one that I consider my main source of traffic, which would be Pinterest, but you could pick your favorite size, uh, whatever platform you're most active on. I mean, you typically know what you gravitate towards. So I would just pick whichever one uh, you like the most. Uh, for me, it's usually Pinterest, but since I do a lot of Pinterest um, size graphics in my videos, I'm gonna change it up and do um, an Instagram square size. So I'm just here in the main Canva dashboard. Um, I do not like to use this square because you can see it's 800 by 800. I like to come type in Instagram and you can see here you actually get a 1080 by 1080 or if you wanted to be even faster you could just type it in whatever so we're gonna open it up and then you need to lay out your design so at this point you need to already have your brand colors and if you are on Canva for work and uploading your own fonts have those in place which you can check out um, the video uh, that pops up above to see about getting your brand colors put into Canva. And since this video is mainly about how you set up your templates in Canva, I'm going to do a little video magic and pop in a design. So this is just, um, I have a background color. I've used my little gradient tool for my Boss Lady design kit. And actually this whole template set is in my Boss Lady design kit. And then uh, these are just Canva fonts. And I've got some little graphics from my Boss Lady design kit. So once you get your design set up, and like I said, you can make it from scratch or you can pick one of Canvas. Uh, I typically try to stay away from these as much as I can unless I'm really, really in a pinch for time because uh, these free things tend to get overused quickly. Uh, but there are some cute things in there that are pretty simple. Like, I mean, this could be any template anywhere or this is just a nice standard template. So you definitely could look through those. Um, other great places to find templates is Creative Market and um, of course I have my Boss Lady design kit which is what I'm using for this tutorial. So at this point 
I may make um, a few different variations of my template. So I have a handful of templates, three to five in this size that I can use. And I would just make some tweaks. So for example, I may just change the color on this one and then I may, I probably wouldn't worry about changing these because if I was going to go with flat lays as a template, then I would probably be switching out um, the type of graphics every time. But maybe on this one, I'm not going to be using those. So I'm going to leave it blank and maybe I want to uh, not have that. And then I'm going to copy it again and maybe instead of the text and the color, I want to have a photo. So let's just come grab one and I'm just going to pop it in and then you can see at this point I may need to move it around or um, move my text a little bit. And remember, these are templates. So essentially all of this is just placeholder information that you would be changing. Okay. And then maybe I want to do a photo with a gradient. So let's do that. And then I'm going to come get my gradient or actually I'm going to come up here and I'm going to control or command C to copy. And then I'm just going to click and paste it back in here. Move it backwards behind my text. And then if I was doing this, I would probably want to move my image up. I may even, I don't really love this image, but remember at this point, it's all just placeholder. I think I need to move that still in front of some of my text. There we go. Let's just get a different, there we go. It's a little better. Okay, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm making some tweaks. I'm keeping it all within my branding. Uh, for these, I may need to add some color blocks to pull my branding back in a little bit more. So for example, I might do a rectangle across the bottom in my color or across the top. Something like that, you know, I may use colored text on these. But once you have everything to your liking, then you want to name it. So I would name this um, KD, because my business is Kate Danielle, Instagram. templates okay and we're gonna make sure everything's saved I'm gonna command s to force the save because it said I had unsaved changes you can always also find that there and if we come back to our main screen and refresh we will see that right here it is generating our new template set um, and sometimes this can take a little bit you a lot of times still can make use of it. You can see I can make a copy, I can move it to a folder and I have these various, op various options. Um, from this point, it is up to you how you want to organize and use your templates. Even in the free um, Canva, you can make two folders. So I might set up a folder of just templates. And when you come into a folder, you um, once you click on something it opens like this and you can say use this template and it automatically opens up a copy and you would then just start replacing the photos replacing the text by whatever you need the new title to be so for example i might say um how oops not that how to set up and occasionally you might have to resize the fonts a little bit. In Canva, it was already there. And then I may, I probably would, you know, would swap this out. 
the image out and voila it's a new pen and especially for pens I typically use all of the templates for every post that I put out because Pinterest is just a, such a huge source of my traffic um, so I would create pin with this headline using every template so if I had five templates I would have five pins for the same post and it's up to you how much variety you put between your designs you can see all of these are fairly um, similar but you want to make sure that they they are on brand because it builds brand recognition another way to use your templates going back to our uh, main dashboard here is you can just say make a copy and it makes a copy and you can click and this is a duplicate of your template set that then you can put in your new headlines you could move these around if you're doing something like this get new ones from the kit if you have the kit um, whatever you need to do to switch it up switch up the photo You could add in a color block if you need to. Canvas starting to run slow now. However you need to do it. Um, another way, uh, which is how I typically use my templates, I don't know that I recommend it. I think it's a little messy for organizational features but I definitely need to get more organized is once I set my templates up then I just duplicate it here and do my new headline there and sometimes I just do it right over top of the same one if I no longer need that design like if I've already downloaded it and it's done but this is how you know you can always duplicate them right in the same thing of course your file is going to get bulky that way so I would say my favorite method is probably using it as an actual template from a folder. That's the most organized way. Uh, just make sure that you are renaming it because as you can see, when I made a copy, it said copy of, but when I used it as a template, which was this one, or no, this one maybe, it doesn't rename it. So I guess essentially you would just have two of the same name, but if I rename this, so this would be the templates video and I didn't spell it right. And let's get out of that command S to save. You can see I have that there in my main designs now, but I also in my folder have the original. Another way to use your templates, or if you're ready to start creating different size templates, is to use what you've already created. So if you're on Canva for work, you can do this by pulling it in from the folders. But I also have a really easy way for um, the free version of Canva too, so don't worry. So on Canva for work, you come over to click folders, and if this is something you just created, uh, so for example, if you made your Instagram templates and now you're ready to make Facebook size templates, which is what I have here, you can just click on all your designs because your most recent designs will be up top. And then you click and open up that whole design set and then you just click and it will paste in your design and then you just have to tweak it a little bit. Now, like I said, this is only a Canva for work feature, but in the free version of Canva, what you can simply do is open up two tabs so you would open up your Instagram size template set that you just created then you would open up your new design tab Let's make that back white you come over here drag and select everything and hit command C to copy it now we're gonna come back to the new tab this used to not work for a little bit with the Canva updates, but it now works again. And you can see I have to resize it down, but I simply just hit a Command V to paste it in, and now I'm resizing it. The only thing it did not paste in was the background color, so I am going to 
come over here and do solid color in there. Now we can see the gradient. You can also, if you don't have an image, like my gradient was taking up most of the background, it was gonna be hard for me to click, but you could also just click on the background to set it there. But in my case, if I had done that, I was just gonna get this image and I couldn't quite get to the background. So that is an easy way to design, to use your templates for various sizes and to resize them and to get started on setting up your different size sets. You start with one and you can either, like I said, drag it in by using folders in Canva fork, or you can just copy and paste them from tab to tab, which is pretty fabulous. One more thing to note is if you are going to be bringing in templates from outside of Canva, so whether um, you use some, if you go purchase some, or I actually have a free set that you can grab today, it will be delivered in some, for some sort of link. It will open up the page of templates like this, but you need to go to file and make a copy. Um, and only edit your copy and you can watch this video up above about how to exactly do all of that if you are getting templates um, from outside of Canva. One thing um, that I hear, one concern that I've heard in the past is, won't people think they've already seen that pin before or that Instagram post before? And no, that is not the case at all. What happens is people start noticing your brand. So uh, for example, uh, when I search for things on Pinterest, I can recognize brilliant business mom pins or redefining mom pins. And if I'm looking for something specific and I see one of their pins on it, I can immediately recognize their branding. And because I like their businesses, I want to click on their pins and see what they have to say about what I'm researching. So it builds that brand recognition and people aren't going to think they've seen it before. They're going to recognize and be drawn to it. Now, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and if you plan to utilize templates in your business. I posted a link below where you can go download a little sample pack of the Boss Lady Design Kit, which comes with some templates to help you get started. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, Boss Ladies, enjoy your coffee and have fun getting creative in Canva.